San Gimignano is also called the Tuscan Manhattan. Seen from far away, its various high angular medieval towers are similar to American skyscrapers. What all could there have been in the 14th and 15th centuries when allegedly 72 such buildings were erected here? The small town with a population of 7,000 is becoming more and more popular with tourists. The Estad San Gimignanese Music Festival takes place in the square in front of the cathedral every summer. It attracts a lot of visitors and not only foreigners. Italian people love traveling and they also travel around their country from one end to the other. Inside the city wall, almost nothing has changed since Dante came here to enlist the inhabitants of San Gimignano as Florence's ally with a speech made at the town hall. It's the easiest to approach the inner city from the car park in front of Porta San Giovanni, where buses stop. On foot, we can reach Piazza del Cisterna in 15 minutes, the name of which speaks for itself. The picturesque small square joins Piazza del Duomo. The cathedral, also called Collegiata, was sanctified in 1148 by Pope Eugene II. The frescoes were made by Domenico Gerlandaio 300 years later, but we can also see frescoes by Lepomemi, Tadeo di Bartoli, and Benozzo Gozzoli. Construction on the town hall opposite the cathedral began at the end of the 13th century, according to plans by Arnolfo di Cambio. Its tower is the 54-meter-high Torre Grossa, a higher tower wasn't allowed at that time. If we find it open, it's worth going up to the top, from which various views open upon the old city, surrounded by the ancient wall and the colorful world in the distance. The town hall operates according to its original function, but is partially a museum as well. Perhaps people in office need less space than their ancient ancestors. In the gallery on the second floor, works by Filippino Lippi, Ghirlandaio, Pintoricchio, and Gozzoli can be seen, and the frescoes were made by Lippo Memmi. The atmosphere of the intact inner courtyard suggests that time has stopped. From the square, we can pass through Via San Matteo, flanked by medieval palaces, to San Agostino Church, the charm of which, besides Gozzoli's fine work, is mainly Benedetto de Maiano's marble altar. The ancient hotels of San Gimignano can be recommended to anybody wanting to stay in the city for a night. Don't forget to taste the famous wine of the neighborhood, the Vernaccia. Cola de Valdessa is one of the walled medieval towns, something that Tuscany, Umbria, and Lazio, but even the French Provence have in common. Its former archiepiscopal palace is a luxurious hotel today.